So, hey guys, uh, welcome to our YouTube channel, Homer Plans Repair Nairobi. Today we are replacing the bearings. So, I'll take you through parts of a washing machine. Okay, because now when you're doing the bearings, you have to dismantle. You have to dismantle the entire washing machine. So, I'll take you through the parts of a washing machine. So, uh, number one, we, we'll start with the main body. So this is the main body and the wiring. Okay, so uh, normally the drum is suspended here. And this, this is the drum. I've already uh, dissected into two. So this is the drum and uh, the drum, it's always suspended here with uh, the springs. So these are the springs that suspends the drum. They're using the springs. And then we have the dampers. These are the dampers. Okay. So the dampers come here. The other damper here. Okay. So the screws goes into the drum. So they can easily move. When the drum is spinning. So when it's suspended. So the drum can easily move. So basically. This is the body. Of the washing machine now uh, down here because uh, this is an eco bubble washing machine it has two pumps okay so with the two pumps we have the main the main pump that drains the water from this drain hose out there okay and then we have the mixing pump this one mixes water so I'll show you how to how it works so uh, it's on the drum, on the drum, so on the drum, okay, the washing machine, water comes into the drain hose from the drum. This is the main hose, main drain hose from the drum. So water is always here. So the PCB, the power board, which is this one, this is the power board. So front is the display board and this is the PCB, the power control board. So it happens when it's time to drain, this one, the, 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 the PCB communicates to the pump. Now it's, the, it's time to drain the water. Once the machine is ready to, to drain or to spin, now the water flows from here into there so water from, flows from here to the drain pump and then it releases into the drain hose into the drain area now the other pump this one that mixes water is connected here so water goes back to the drum so it mixes water back to the drum it mixes water back to the drum so this one mixes water and this one drains water now on the on the drum you see when i'm when we're talking about mixing the water from the mixing pump goes back to the drum then down then goes back to the drum then goes back to the drum now we have this pipe that is on the drain hose main drain hose from the drum this one goes to the sensor this is the pressure sensor it comes in here so this pipe here comes in here so this one like when the pcb communicates this is a quick wash, it's time to rinse, it's time to spin. This one, the, the, the pressure sensor senses the level of water. So that's why the pipe goes down. It's something, it's, it's, it's a vacuum. There's nothing in here, just as a pipe. So it goes down here. Inside here, we have the sensor inside here. So it clicks, every time it clicks, it clicks, it clicks. Most of the time when you get the pressure sensor as an issue, when you try to put air inside here it doesn't click most of the time you realize if it doesn't click now the sensor is gone but you have to use a multimeter to ensure that it's okay or has an issue and has to be replaced 
Okay. Now, these are just the cables that goes to the PCB. When it's powered, power comes into the sound filter first. This is the sound filter. So most of the time, if it's not powering, it's either the PCB has the problem, the sound filter has a problem, or also when you have a look at your main socket, maybe the fuse has the problem. So if the sound filter is okay, the PCB is okay, the fuse is okay, you have to check the entire cable. Most of the time, it, uh, you find the cable doesn't, doesn't allow power to go back to the to go to the sound filter. So most of the time you have to check the power power cable, you check the fuse, the sound filter and the PCB. But most of the time it's either the PCB or the fuse. It's rare to find that the sound filter has an issue. Now next uh, it's uh, I'll take you through the the washing machine balance so these two these are concrete this is plastic anyway but these are concrete in here it's pure concrete so they come to the drum here they lie here so most of the time you'll find the concrete here so they lie here so what they do is they balance the machine and they give the machine some stability so if that one is not on the machine definitely the machine will wobble around number two it won't be balanced on that also we have also this concrete this one is on top of the drum also helps with the stability now because the machine is suspended because the, the, the drum is always suspended so it's okay. It's very important to have the concrete on top and the other one from the front so that the machine is balanced. So that it doesn't vibrate when it's spinning. Then we have the water dispenser. This is the water dispenser. So we have a place for putting normal soap. And then we put the softener here. This is the dispenser it comes in here so when water comes in so these are the solenoid valves eh? this one they they, they 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 allow water in during programs so if it's time to rinse we have the pcb this one that communicates it's time to rinse it's time to bring in water or not. So if you check, like this one, service was due, it's clogged. Eh? So most of the time, we, we advise our customers to remove this sieve, clean it, and return. Because once the residues pass to the valves inside, a common issue we have encountered now, water continuously flows in, causing flooding. Now, these are the solenoid valves. So when the machine is powered and the PCB communicates its time to put in water, now the, it opens the valves, and now the wa water comes in. When the water comes in, this is the drain hose, this is the hose that takes water to the drum. So water will come in, in here, if there is soap on the dispenser, takes soap, and then water goes to the drum. The spin motor, this is the spin motor. So the motor is in perfect condition. Uh, I've tested it. Normally, it looks burnt. If you check, this is soot. So the reason it's black, and you'll find most of the time on your machine, you'll find uh, even the PCB. Most people confuse the soot with uh, a burnt motherboard. If you check, this is soot that goes on the motherboard. That one is caused by the carbon brushes. These are the carbon brushes. So most of the time when the carbon brushes are worn out, the machine won't spit. These are the carbon brushes. If you check, 
that one is a carbon brush the other one is a carbon brush so if i'm using a multimeter it should be now there should be power continuity from here to the other side so this is a spin motor it's in perfect condition so on the spin motor on the spin motor we have the belt the belt comes here the belt comes it lies here and then it goes on the on this spider here so the belt comes here and then it lies here on this it lies on this so what happens is when the motor is is spinning it's moving it's rotating and the belt is moving it will make this one move now this one will move if it's washing maybe clockwise and clockwise now it will start moving so the spin motor rotates engaging the belt and then the belt moves this and then this one this one comes in here this one comes in here as you can see so when it's here when the belt is rotating and this one is rotating so when it's moving let me show you so when it's moving the belt is moving let me bring the motor here so when the motor is moving and the belt is moving so this one the belt rotates this so when it rotates you can see it now the drum is is moving so this is the main drum, the outside drum, the plastic one, and then we have the aluminum drum. So in here, this is the spider. I'm yet to remove, I've just put the uh, WD so that it soaks up before we remove it. So we're about to remove it. So here, next, these are the heating elements. If you check on your washing machine, we have a, a category for temperature you see we have called third degrees four degrees 60 and 95 normally when you, when you when you select your program like on cotton that is a high program of like two hours so when you put it on two hours the machine automatically selects something like 95 60 something like 60 a higher program because normally if it's cotton it takes time and for a good laundry and a clean laundry and a satisfying laundry you have to wash it with hot water so normally it it picks when you put a higher program like cotton it will pick something like 60 so it depends now so the heating elements are here these are the heating elements so they are always in here so when you when you are washing and they are engaged and it's on the temperature is on like that 90 64 degrees they will heat up and remember there is water on in the drum okay so when it, it's heating up you will find this hot water in here so these are the heating elements that will make sure that the washing machine is washing with hot water so this is our door seal this is the door seal Is the front panel of the washing machine. And this is the glass door. Okay. And this is the door lock. So the PCB, the PCB will communicate to this time to lock the door. Time to lock the door and time to open the door. That's why for a front load when it's washing, you can't when it's closed and it's washing and sunning, you can't open the door. So until you end the program using the PCB, there is no way you'll open the door. So this one here controls communication to open the door and when not. So when this one is faulty, the machine, machine will give you a DE error. When it gives you a DE error, normally this is what we replace. So for this is a door switch, as I say, door lock. So most of the time, uh, DE errors are related to this okay 
And this is very, very important because a faulty door lock will easily tamper with or will short circuit the PCB and that is a common issue. So when your door lock has problems, not don't bypass. We advise you get a correct one using the modern number that's always on front of the washing machine. This is how the pump looks one. Huh? Like this is an LG pump. This is how it looks like. It has the propeller. So this one when it's moving when it rotates, now this one pumps water out. So this is the drain pump that pumps water out. This is how it looks like. It's like a motor, and then it has a propeller on it, so there's a drain pipe, the drain pump. This wire here holds the door seal tight on the drum, so this one holds the door seal tight so that the water doesn't spill, and then when you're using hot water or you're moving clothes, you can easily pull this one out so it holds it tight on the drum.